For the first time, we are seeing images of two of the four U.S. soldiers killed by Islamic militants in the African nation of Niger last October. Newly released video from National Geographic's chain of command shows Sergeant LaDavid Johnson and Staff, Sir, and Staff Sergeant rather, Dustin Wright with their unit, which also lost two other soldiers in the battle. David Martin is at the Pentagon with this story. David, good morning. Good morning. The military's investigation into the ambush has now been delivered to the Secretary of Defense for final review and is expected to be released to the public sometime in March. Anybody can shoot a gun, you know, demo is something else. It's a lot more fun. Staff Sergeant Dustin Wright demonstrates how his team detonates weapons. While Sergeant David Johnson, full of life, does backflips, sings and jokes with the Nigerian soldiers his team was training. Johnson's full-time job was as a mechanic, but he did double duty as a barber. Is there something you haven't been able to fix or do that you've been asked to do on this trip? Negative, sir. Not yet? Not yet. OK. Not yet. Just three weeks later, on October 4th, Johnson, Wright, and two other soldiers were ambushed and killed by terrorists. Johnson's body was not recovered for two days, which speaks volumes to retired Brigadier General Donald Bolduck, the former commander of special operations in Africa. There was most likely an element of surprise that the patrol was overwhelmed very quickly. You're defending your country. Yes. Special forces were in Niger to train the local troops who, according to their commander, were chasing roaming bands of terrorists. Nigerians and their American advisors headed out on what was supposed to be a simple reconnaissance patrol. But halfway through the patrol, the special forces were given another mission, check out a campsite where a wanted terrorist had been spotted a few days earlier. Going out and checking out an area that a high-value target has just been in would be a, you know, high-risk mission. At a memorial service, one of their commanders said that as the team was running out of ammunition and about to be overrun, they sent out a distress call once used during the Vietnam War. Broken arrow. Nora? All right. Mm -hmm. David, thank you so much.